Act 3, Scene 1, at the palace. The 35 girls were brought to the palace of Ilea. There were lots of journalists and photographers there. Sylvia, the palace's clerk, instructed the contestants. Don't worry about the cameras, ladies. We'll make a TV special about your transformation. All girls in Ilea will want to look like you. Now, you meet the palace's hairdressers. You will get makeup, be dressed. After the girls were ready, Sylvia took them for a tour in the palace. This is the ladies' hall. You will spend most of your time here. There, you can see the great hall, which is where parties and dinners take place. The royal family's private rooms are on the third floor. You must not go there. Your private rooms are on the second floor, and these doors lead to the garden. After a long tour, America went to her bedroom to sleep. On the next day, she met the other contestants. America ended up making friends with a gentle fourth-class girl named Marley. America, are you alright? Yes, but some girls are wishing at me. They are nervous. You look so silent and mysterious. I'm not mysterious. Sometimes people can tell confidence from fear. They look at you, you like that, because they want you to feel bad. And what should I do? Never mind. All you have to do is this. Don't let them think they can hurt you. Well, we have to take your seats now. Good luck. Good luck, Marley. I'm sure the prince is going to think you're sure. Good morning, ladies. Now, our work begins. I'm going to teach you a ticket and the proper behavior. Someone in these rooms is to become the next Prince of Ilea. While Sylvia was explaining the rules to the contestants, Prince Maxon entered the hall. He greeted everybody and Sylvia explained that he would have a small talk with each participant. Soon it was America's turn. After introducing herself, America decided to be totally honest with the Prince. Please, don't get me wrong, Your Highness, but my family is mean to me to still here, even for a short time. It would be wonderful for them, and I can help you. I can be your friend among the other girls. You may talk to me whatever you want. The prince was surprised, but appreciated America's sincerity. After talking to all the girls, the prince allowed them to go for breakfast, asking a few of them to stay at that hall. Those would not remain in the selection, but America was not one of them. Act 3, Scene 2, The Interview On the next morning, all participants were brought together to the ladies' hall. They were going to be interviewed by the official Ilea news program. Gabrielle, a journalist, approached America. What's that for? It's for the transformation TV special. We will broadcast a special program about you on Friday on the news. People have seen our photos on TV and you know some things about you from the phone. But we went to really support you. And that's not gonna happen with if they don't know you. Oh, okay then. So, America Singer, are you ready? Yes. I can you notice great things in your look, to be honest. Can you tell us how your transformation was? They cut my hair in the legs and so on. They also put vanilla lotion on my body and smells like dessert. How beautiful. And these dresses look perfect for you. Thank you. I usually don't wear dresses, so it will take some time for me to get used to it. Okay, you are one of the three fifty class girls in the selections. How is the experience so far? Wow, surprising. I guess more surprising mistakes are gonna come. I hope they are a bit carved than the last ones. What do you think of the other contestants up to now? The other girls are very nice. 
And what do you think of the results of your presentation? Are you afraid that the other girls look better than you? Mm, I guess they managed to approve it to one's beauty. Very good. That's all. All of this? We have to see to 35 interviews within one hour and a half. What we've done is enough. Okay, then. Thank you. Living in a palace, dressing like a princess, being interviewed, it was all new to America. 